Navajo tea is basically wild chamomile tea. It grows everywhere. Wherever you find water, where water gathers, that's where you'll find the Navajo tea. My son Gabriel helped me put the tea bundles together. We had a lot of fun doing this. Perhaps you could engage your kids to do something like this. This is Miss Nova. How are you guys doing? As you can see, my hair is just blowing all over the place. That's because I have my fan on. It's pretty warm here. I guess it's pretty warm everywhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, we should make some really nice cold tea. Not just ordinary tea, but Navajo tea. And we'll put a twist on it and we'll make it in our native Navajo tea, okay? Thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is regular tea. Tea is just tea when it's just tea. You know what I mean? But if you add mother nature to it, like this kind of stuff, peaches and, well, mint. I, I got this to, to enhance the mint flavor. But there's we're gonna be making um, peaches with mint flavor. And we're also gonna be making the, um, the orange with a little bit of orange extract. So we'll be making that and we'll be making Navajo tea. I've added some pictures um, before the video so that you guys can get an idea what the plant looks like and how to um, get them ready. Okay, so let me uh, go ahead and uh, get started and I'll put these um, Navajo tea in the pot. Okay, so I got two pots. I got a little pot here. And another pot here so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in there so that we can start our tea with Navajo tea a little bit of tea goes a long way so we don't need to make the whole bag we just need to make a little bit of it so I'll go ahead and put this in here and I'll put the rest of it in here and I'll add water okay so I've added the tea in here and I turn on the heat so they're going to be boiling here in a little bit and right now we just need to prepare the uh, the fruit over here we're going to get this ready and we'll get the orange ready okay with the peach and mint we're just going to add a little bit of this uh, mint in there with the tea so we'll just take a little bit of this a little bit of the mint and put it in there with the tea so it has the mint flavor, okay? That's what we need to do. With the orange flavor, with the orange one, what we need to do is we need to cut them in half like this, and then we need to put the orange peels in the inside the tea. So we're gonna cut them like this and take the peels off because we need to put the peels in the tea. You can remove the seeds as you go along and you can take the peels off like this because this is going to go inside the um, pot along with your Navajo tea. Some people like to move their, uh, remove their, their uh, peels, orange peels like this and cut the middle part out and then use this for the rest of it and save these. But then there's another way to do it. You could take a whole orange and just roll it around like this and then it'll be easy to peel. You could just peel your orange like this and it'll come off really easy if you roll the orange around for just a little bit and loosen up the, the peel. So you have your, your orange like this and then you can just add these to the oranges that you're making, okay? And then this, all this, all these peels, they go in the tea, which we'll do right now. See, this side's the mint, this side is it's the orange. So go ahead and put them in there and you let this boil, let it boil and let this side boil. 
Once it starts boiling, we'll turn the heat off so that it'll start, uh, the tea will start setting, okay? Meanwhile, you want to cut some of your slices like this so that you can put these inside your, uh, your tea, uh, kind of like to decorate it. It's going to make it look really pretty. So go ahead and cut some of those, okay? It's coming along pretty good. It's starting to get pretty hot. And the tea, Navajo tea, usually gets really red when it's ready. We'll just let this one boil some more. Meanwhile, um, we're going to need to uh, remove the peels off of this uh, peaches. And there's different ways to remove the, the, the peels off of the peaches, but this at this time I'm just going to do it this way. So go ahead and remove your uh, peel off the peach like this, and then cut your peaches into small dices. Okay, remove the, the uh, seed inside. Okay, so I removed the, the seed off of this uh, peach, and all we need to do is cut the peaches into small squares so that we can put it in the blender, okay? So that's what we're doing here. So just go ahead and cut them to small pieces and get them all ready. So some of you might want to know what orange is called in Navajo. It's called chilzitzhoi, meaning like the orange plant. That's what these are called. And peaches are called zitzo. So that's what these are called, okay? And in Navajo, tea is called de, de, okay? So that's just a little bit of Navajo lesson. <laughs> so far the tea is turning nice and red, just like it's supposed to. There's the orange one, okay? And over here, We've got our peaches all nicely cut up, our decorative one, and the orange we're going to use to in the blender. So while this is getting ready, we're going to go ahead and use this blender to work with our peaches and our oranges. So with our peaches, we're going to go ahead and put the peaches inside the blender just like this. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of water. It depends on how much peaches you have, I'd go like a half a cup or maybe a little more so that it'll turn into a real nice and juicy mixture, okay? So you're just going to close that and then you're going to uh, blend it, okay? So just go ahead and do that. My blender is pretty loud, so it'll just make it to a, a nice uh, creamy consistency. Some people like their uh, the peach here. They like it pulpy, but if you don't like like it pulpy, you can use a strainer and make it so it's not that way. And we'll go ahead and do that. Just strain it through like this. Okay. Just go ahead and take all the pulp out of there and make it all nice and smooth. Strain it all the way through. As you can see, this is all that's left of the uh, peach, you know, after it's been strained and the rest of it is in there. And we'll use that. Okay, so the tea is boiling on both sides, so we'll go ahead and turn them off so they can start cooling down. And meanwhile, we'll go ahead and put the abstract in, in each one of these. But before we do that, we need to remove all this stuff from, up, from inside the... We gotta strain the tea so that all these things will not be in there, okay? As you can see, the tea is all nice and ready. This is the one with the mint. And here's the rest of the particles. I strained it so that we could have that. Now go ahead and go uh, add your mint extract in here. Let it cool. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Okay, so we got our tea with the mint and then the orange ones over here. And make sure you put your abstract in there. You know, make sure you have your tea cooling down when you do that. There's a cap full. Just put it in there. And stir it up really nice. Just stir it up and 
and get it, let it cool down for a little bit, okay? So this is the orange one, and this is the peach one. And here are the peels. Here's the peach puree and the orange. And you go ahead and discard these and toss it into the trash. Okay, so now we got our tea, our Navajo tea with the mint flavor in here. And we have our peach puree here, okay? And we're gonna put it in this pitcher to make it taste really good, okay? So we're gonna need ice in here. I have some ice right here, and I'll go ahead and put it in here. We got our ice in there. I'm gonna put this in here. All the peat puree that goes in there, okay? We get all of it in there, we'll have that. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this tea and pour it in there with it. So now you have peach Navajo tea. All nice and neat. And you don't have to add sugar here, but if you want to, it's fine. It's up to you. And this is what it looks like right here. It looks like this. And we'll go ahead and prepare a glass to put this in it. Some put real sugar in there. I prefer this because it tastes good to me to put this kind of sugar in there. I'll go ahead and put that in there and I'll put some ice in there. In this nice little cup like this. ice in there like that. Okay, and then you're going to put a little bit of your mint in there. If I can get some of these mints out. Just put your little mint in there like that. And put your peaches, like leftover peaches, just stick them in there like that. You know, kind of like that bit more ice and then you want to put your juice in there I mean now uh, your tea just like this just like that see how pretty that is we'll get that spoon right here Let's see if I can stir it I don't know if I can, but it would be nice. So, and that would make it really taste really, really good. And then don't forget to put your straw in there. And that is your tea. Your Navajo peach tea. Inno native peach tea. Okay? We're going to do the same thing with the orange. And this is the orange one. So you would pour your orange juice and or your orange tea, Navajo tea, in there like that. And like I said, do not forget your to stir it really good first. You got this one stirred up too. So you got your little leaf in there and your little straw like this. And that there, now you have your Inno Native orange Navajo tea and peach Navajo tea. And if you want to try it, it's up to you. And that's how you would make it. So this is the result of all the stuff we just made. This is the Navajo uh, orange uh, Navajo tea. And this is the peach one with the, the mint flavor. And this is the Navajo tea. You don't need that much, you just need a little bit, okay? And it doesn't have to be just orange or um, peach. You can do other fruits too, like you could use, um, you know, like cantaloupe or watermelon or whatever fruit you want to do, okay? So I hope you uh, try this and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Okay, so I hope you guys had fun making this tea with me. I had fun too and I appreciate you being on my channel. Thank you for watching and we'll be making more other recipes and sharing adventures with you. So um, please subscribe and like our channel and, and thank you so much for supporting us. Have a good evening. Bye.